What is going on guys? This is Train Kill, and today I want to show you guys an insane sniper build, at least for Maya. Now I haven't tested this on Zero yet. I can only imagine that this would be even better on Zero. But I don't have a Zero high enough to use the equipment that I need to test it. So for now, we're going to test this on Maya, and I just want to show you the sheer power of this sniper build. Now, sniper rifles in general in Borderlands 2 seem to be extremely extremely overpowered considering the fact that based on my testing they do about 400% critical hit damage which is insane uh, so if you shoot somebody in the chest, they're going to do your normal gun damage you shoot them in the head, they're going to do your normal gun damage times 4 based on my calculations now there's a couple factors that you're going to need to consider for this build and I'm going to go through that here in a second but first I want to show you guys a little bit of testing now actually I'm going to go a step further here I'm going to turn off my bonus stats. So I am completely naked. I've got no talent. Well, not completely naked. I've got no shield. I've got no class mod. I've got no talents in. Let's just go here because I know there's a lot of regular bandits. Uh, I've also got no bonus um, from my badass rank. And I'm simply just using a basic sniper rifle. Now, I'll show you guys how basic this sniper rifle is. It is a green... Jacob's 2179 damage sniper rifle. Now, obviously, the damage totals, just ignore that. Because when you get up to 50, you're going to be doing way more damage with this. But it will still scale, or at least I can imagine, it will still scale if you can find equal equipment that are for that level, right? So we're just looking at the multiplicative damage. The multiplicative? Can't talk. The multiplicative damage. And you can see how I can turn this 2179 sniper rifle into something just absolutely just ridiculous. So... 2179, meaning that if I go up and I shoot this guy in the chest, there's usually a nomad up here. Is he not here? He's not here. Oh, I've already cleared this area out just a second ago doing some testing. All right, well, uh, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go to quit, save and quit. Let's, uh, let's get those guys to spawn again. So anyway, I'm going to shoot this guy in the chest. I'm going to shoot him in the head so you can see the damage difference. Now, there's one thing about, I don't know if it's the Jacobs or the Diobs, uh, Diab being the specific name of the gun, and I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right, Diab. Uh, so, there's something specific. They do a little bit more critical hit damage. So instead of 400%, it looks like they do uh, about 530%. So that's about a 30% increase in uh, damage. So, here we go. Pop in the chest, 2179, right? Exactly like it should have been. Oops, I missed his head. Stop walking downstairs. 11,327. So that is about 5.2, 5.3% damage difference. Now to get him to stop shooting at me so I can, uh, so I can think for a second. I'm gonna go ahead, I guess I could have paused it. I'm used to playing multiplayer. Uh, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and back out, back right back in, or jump right back in. And now I'm gonna build the character out so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So remember that number, 11,327. That is the sniper rifle damage I am doing with just the sniper rifle nothing else just a critical hit with the sniper rifle so let's go ahead and build the character out the actual build doesn't really matter to be honest you need to go into the cataclysm tree or at least di uh, deep enough to get five out of five in reaper so i'm just going to build it out like i was playing i put five out of five there four in this one one in cloud kill five in reaper five in in uh blight phoenix one in ruin and then three in sweet release that's how i'm built out right now at this juncture uh so what else was I going to do? Oh, I got to go back to my inventory. Uh, we've got two other things. What did I just equip? Oh, I don't want that. I want my health one back on. Uh, two other things. You need a class mod that is going to give you a bonus to Reaper. I've got four in Blight Phoenix, three in Reaper with this one. This is my, I usually use my fire sniper, but for this, I'm just going to show you guys just the raw damage sniper rifle, no elemental damage. And then you need an Amplify Shield. Now this Amplify Shield, if you guys haven't seen this just yet, what this does is when you shoot a bullet out of any gun while you have a full shield, it's going to damage your shield by 769 and then amp your next shot by 1161. So you're taking a little bit of shield damage, but it's using that to charge up your shot by 1100 damage. So at first I thought, eh, that amp damage is pretty cool, right? Until I actually got into the uh, to playing this game. Now, a little disclaimer. The only reason I started doing the testing on this is because I was playing with SNK and he was getting extremely frustrated. If you guys don't know who SNK is, he is a, a guy that plays on my uh, Let's Play with me. But anyway, he was getting extremely frustrated with the fact that he couldn't kill anything. And I was just, I was amazed at the amount of damage I was doing. 
And he goes, he goes, how much damage are you doing? I'm not doing anything. And I told him, and he about shit a brick, as did I. So let's go up and pop this guy in the skull. 11,327, remember that? How about 28k? Yes, 28k, so we've over doubled. Now, that's not including my badass rank. Let's put the bonus stats back on. Now let's hop back out and find somebody else. What's up, Nomad Raider? Oh, I missed his face. So you gotta let your amp recharge again. You gotta have a full shield. Doink! 30k! What? 30k? Yes, that's 30k. Poke your head up, bitch. Boink! 30k again. And you can just, I mean, this, as long as your shield is full, you will hit people for 30k with a 2,000 damage sniper rifle. Now, let me explain the math a little bit on this. So, basically, I thought, alright, cool, I got 2,000 damage sniper rifle. I didn't, I hadn't done any testing on crit damage at this point. Um, and I kind of almost lucked into this. And since I've lucked into this, I, I haven't found anybody else on the internet talking about this. So, I tried to do some research, but I had to end up doing my own kind of like research in my own game because nobody on the internet is talking about this yet that I have seen. I may not be the first person to put all this together... Uh, but when I did, I kind of blew my own mind. So how this works is, you got 2179 gun damage. Now how I thought it was going to work is everything's calculated, and then your amp damage is going to add 1100 to that. That is not it at all. So it says, when fully charged, next weapon shot deals bonus amp damage. What that means is, your next shot out of your 2179 sniper will add 1161 to that shot. Not afterwards, that bullet, that first bullet, will now do 3,300 something damage. So then, we go into our Reaper, you take that 3,300 times 1.64 for an additional 64% damage, you're up to about 54, 5,500. Then we take the multiplier of the critical hit shot for 400, then we go to the, either the Jacobs or the Diod that adds that extra 30%, and that's where our 30k comes from. So again, that is not an insane amount of damage. I'm sure when I get up to 50 and I have all these amazing guns that I'm going to be doing way more than 30k damage. But, oh hey, why don't you die? <laughs> 30k, that's just stupid. So I'm just going to kill a couple things here real quick so you can see the sheer... Oh, you know what I could do? I could slag somebody first. Let me, uh, I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. Doink. 20k, my shield wasn't full. Uh, let me find somebody else. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh phase lock them which will slag them and then I'm gonna try to hit him in the head from here 60k damage slagged that is right 60k damage I don't know of anything off the top of my head that could live through 60k damage there's 20k again I mean the minimum if with a critical shot the minimum you're doing is 20k damage with this gun and the gun does 2100 so you're doing 10 times damage without your amp shield let me, uh, let me go ahead and phase lock you, biatch. Doink! 36k, I did not have a full shield. I mean, what are you doing, running at me? Oh god, I'm gonna die. God, I'm gonna die. So anyway, you guys get the picture. This is an insane, insane build. I just, I can't fathom them ever allowing it to, to be calculated that way. It doesn't even use the normal properties of algebra. It's just like, hey, let's, uh... Let's add first, then multiply, then multiply again. It's like, what? Oh, my shield's not full, so this is not going to be a big shot. Doink! 20k. Slag. Oh, my shield's not going to fill up, and I missed the guy. Anyway, so you guys get the picture. I just wanted to show you that little build. So basically, again, for the build, you need a lot of points in Reaper, or any of the critical hit damage abilities that Zero has. You need a an Amplify shield. You need a class mod that's going to add to one of those bonus abilities. And you need a sniper rifle that preferably does bonus crit damage. That's really it. That's all you need. And you will be, I mean, like I said, my buddy was having no fun. He was actually like mildly annoyed that he couldn't kill anything. He actually said, we, we went from the beginning of the game through boom boom in one shot. He said that entire time, I bet I didn't kill more than 5 to 10% of the enemies. And that is the power of this sniper rifle. If you're good at getting headshots and you want to just <laughs> pop everybody's face in one bullet, try this build out. Again, I'm not claiming this to be my build. I didn't see anything on the internet that said that anybody was talking about this or doing this yet, 
but I didn't do a ton of research. I was amazed at the amount of damage I was doing and I started my own research. So this may be completely uh, public knowledge, but to me, it was amazing. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, or you want to tell me my math is wrong and you want to correct it, please do so, because if I don't know something, I want to understand it. That's why I kind of made this video. So if I'm doing something incorrectly, let me know, but I don't think I am, because I went through and actually did the math several times. I have a whole Excel spreadsheet up with all the possibilities of how it's calculated, and that seems to be the way it's calculated. Gun damage plus amplified damage. Plus, or plus your multiplier from Reaper, then your critical hit damage is added on after that. So everything is big into like this big 5,500 damage shot, then that is multiplied by 5.2, 5.3. So that's how I figured it. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Try this out yourself. It is absolutely amazing, but it almost makes the game a little too easy. So anyway, let me know what you guys think, and until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me, and we'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.